<coughs> Going back to foreplay. Where we talk about corn nuggets. Is that where we talked about you? Cornhole! Yes! Booty holes. <laughs> Booty holes! And anyway. Monica begins reciting her poem. Bring me another! Bring me another! <laughs> her clear, confident voice fills the room. Okay. More than that, her inflection is pristine. Inflection is prostitution. <laughs> she knows exactly how to apply prostitution behind each line she recites, bringing the words to. The brothel. Death. <laughs> to death. <laughs> this is something she's done before, or she is, or is she simply all natural? Maybe she's an African time warlock. Maybe she was born. What? <laughs> Does that Maybe mean? she's an African time warlock, is what he said. Oh, okay, sorry. Maybe she's a <laughs> Maybe she's Maybelline. I glance around me. <laughs> Maybe she's just Monica. <laughs> Maybe she's Maybelline. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Well, Maybelline, please sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> this, this video brought to you by Maybelline. <laughs> We're getting paid six that trillion dollars by Maybelline. Nice. Six trillion. <laughs> <laughs> they make no profit. They just give it to us. Every time they sell a bottle of shampoo, we get a uh, two uh, hundred percent of the profit. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maybelline. I I use Maybelline shampoo every night. It's great. <laughs> I feel so good. I lost thirty pounds. <laughs> I, I use the money to wipe the butt. <laughs> Can you <laughs> I also use Maybelline in my soft drinks. <laughs> it makes them harder. I like use Maybelline in place of chicken time. stock when I make soup. I use it to wash my hair and my hands. Man. And my cat. <laughs> A parfait, except it's makeup powder at the bottom of it instead of fruit. <laughs> No, no more weird food. Dokey Dokey Literature Club or Four Faggots Left by Maybelline. It's the second one. Yes. Stop kicking my butt. Stop putting your toe up my butt. Please call Maybelline. Please sponsor us. Not fishing or anything. Just all right. We're done with the ad read. That's expression all over the place. That they don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. Mm -hmm. uh, the respiration. The four of us of <laughs> blood. Ha ha ha. Monica takes a breath and smile. <sighs> breath of the smile. Breath of the smile. That's doubt right there. That's doubt. <laughs> that was so good! Wow. She just gets climaxed. Climaxed. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Huh? Uh, I'll go next. Cookies. Wow! You always fired up all of a sudden. She's got the lesbian crush on her. Wow! Yuri crashes the sheet of her paper between her buttocks and stands up. <laughs> <laughs> she holds up a poop-smeared piece of paper and then walks back to her seat. <laughs> we all four of us applaud. That was so good, Yuri! It's gonna turn into that scene from Knowledge of Zelda. Ah, uh, pull off a paper, please. <laughs> Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. The this poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! Uh, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. It's called oh. Pink Eye. Is Yuri your least favorite poet in this game? <laughs> Why did you ask that? Because she is one of those people who puts words together because she thinks they sound cool. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. I can't read. I just, can't read. Just a moment ago, <laughs> she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? Doki Doki Illiterate Club. Ooh, that's me! As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what's happened when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. 
Quivering words transformed into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The palm is full of twists and turns in such a structure that she enunciates, enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the world and fire here and keeps concealed within her buttocks. Oh, I'll bet you she does. Suddenly, she finishes. Everyone stops. That was some fucking bullshit! Jesus! <laughs> what the hell was that? I could have wrote a better poem with my asshole! <laughs> <laughs> that poem is about your poopy, stinky asshole! <laughs> All I can picture of you is just like farting onto a piece of paper and then turning that into a poem. <laughs> it's a good avant garde piece. Yeah. <laughs> I call it Pink Eye. <laughs> Why do you call it that? <laughs> <laughs> and then you just shove your poop smeared paper into someone's face <laughs> and give them Pink Eye. You're welcome. Yeah. That was the best poem I ever read. <laughs> This was the most interesting way to contract pink eye ever. <laughs> that, that in itself is avant-garde. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> Yoshi snaps back into reality and grips the rapper as if she's bewildered even by herself. Where am I? It's the pink eye. Oh my god, who are you people? I... Did you say pink guy? Just to make the same situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Kill yourself. Everyone joins me afterwards. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure that's, I'm sure I'm absolutely positive that sounds great with headphones. We need antibiotics now. We're going to start using volume. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applauded, Yuri holds the palm to her chest and rushes back to her buttocks. <laughs> oh my god, sorry. <laughs> she noticed the monarch was like behind her. And she <laughs> ran away. She's I'm like, here. <laughs> Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Oh, looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay! I guess I'm next then. What if Sandwiches just bumps in? <laughs> Me next. Out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Metal. It's about my pussy hair. Oh, go on. Ah! Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. Bullshit. <laughs> that was someone's giggle in real life. I fucking died. <laughs> she didn't That's giggle. how Zary laughed. She just sneezed. <laughs> that was someone's giggle. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I giggled. 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 <laughs> Try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. You have to relax your lips and go. <laughs> Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. Dopey literature club. It's your poem. Sixteen Revenge of the Horse. <laughs> God damn it! It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. It'll come out the best, Winnie. <laughs> I see, I see. Okay then. Sari begins her winning. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made a, as a perfect match. The poem is <laughs> The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this poem on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But, because I'm such an asshole, I don't think much of anything. <laughs> but hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives the whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. 
It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Reaching in, get this <laughs> guy. Oh <my> God. <laughs> Why is there booty hole? Why is there booty hole? Sayari finishes, and we applaud. Wish I could finish next. We'll get to everyone, don't worry. <laughs> Even Pop liked it. Poop. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? I'm a poopy. It cannot nicely, Sayari. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Uh, I don't really understand. It's because you did a really poor job of actually reading it. Oh, okay, I get it now. <laughs> Cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, for example, you said booty hole like ten times. Booty hole. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, no, she said booty hole eleven times this time. <laughs> That's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> Then next time, I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you to see a little more nailed it. <laughs> Just like that sentence challenged you? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we learn. We don't have time. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Poop. <laughs> don't make me go before poop. It's not like. I can compare to you guys in I might as well let Poop lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Okay, oh, then that's the only wow. thing in this room. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. Stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. They all look dead in the face. <laughs> Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, I have to put energy into it. They all look really happy, but Yuri's like really confused. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Despite that, once I finish, I receive a plot anyway. Sorry, I'm not really good, as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much, Pooh. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of being a good writer. Oh, thanks. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. Everybody has Natsuki's nice dinner, can though. try. I'm going! <laughs> Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called. It, it's called. Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> Because you're at the podium. Mm. Anyway, the poem is called Jump! <laughs> Not to take the breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. Rhythm and rhyme to the boogie the beat. Boogie it's Natsuki's nice trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down like titties, as if giving life to a titty. <laughs> Too bad she wasn't happy. <laughs> it's oh. because of her lack of titty. Natsuki finishes. Everyone applauds. We all die. We all die! <laughs> <laughs> she hops back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it, Natsuki? Easy for you to say. You don't have to read a stupid poem. I'm literally the first one here who read a poem. You better not make me do that again, or else I might have to put arsenic in your cupcake. <laughs> no. uh, Best well, cupcake. That's what I had to we... really hold myself back from making that joke. <laughs> do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, I'm doing it in front of people. Uh, yeah. Shutting down. Shutting down. <laughs> I can put whatever face on I want for other people. I'll just wear a giant horse mask. <laughs> <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> but, it, but it's just my friends. It's just embarrassing. It's what? Embarrassing. Oh, it's, it's like, just embarrassing. Just my boy. It's just my nipple. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> Well, I, I, I fuck myself you... every night. Thank you very much. Well, I guess in that case, <laughs> you won't have to worry about the best of all. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through for me. It might be hard, but I hope you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick up poem and get enough practice before the best of all, okay? Okay. I'll be making the pen for it, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Please. I should probably find some other poem for the site instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own poem. Plagiarizing is completely cool with me. Oh my god. My news, you're gonna shed all over my clothes again. I'm going to recite The Fall of the House of Usher. I'm gonna I'm recite. I'm already pleasantly surprised nothing. that you're putting in all this effort for that club. Oh, he's making bread. Rage, rage, yes. On my inner thigh, it kind of hurts almost. <laughs> it makes me really happy. Ah, yeah, no problem. I'm in sleep too. Making okay. muffins. I know. The music I'm changed. Here. I'm right here. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. Next time on Loser Cruiser, we'll find out what happens next. Goodbye. Gooby.